or just how much energy does that give you guys when he goes up like that and reaches the ball? Like it's basically an outer space. I mean, it, uh, it feels like he has one every game now. So it's, to us, it's nothing new. Uh, I said it after the game. It feels like every new one is better than the last one he had. So kind of what we come to expect out of him. And then again, for you, um, just wh where did you see, you know, the shift kind of at halftime and in that third quarter for you guys as a team? And then what did you really like, especially about that second half? You know, we came out, we came out pretty well in the second half uh, to start. You know, they made a run to cut it to what was seven or eight. And then I think the second unit made a whole bunch of threes and kind of pushed it to 20. And, um, so they did their job tonight. I think this was everybody really played well defense. We were really good in the second half, didn't have a great second quarter. But, um, you know, playing the full game, that's kind of something that Coach McMillan's been saying. And we put together a full game tonight. Uh, Kevin, when, when you're throwing an alley-oop pass like that, what's going through your mind like when it happens? Like, how do you know where to place the ball? Or does it even matter when you have someone like him who can, you know, reach back and, and catch it at all different angles? I mean, it's like right when he gets behind people, you can just, you can throw it at the rim. And so I saw as we're running, Kelly tripped it like half court. So I knew like right away if I was running that John was going to be behind him and we were good. And uh you know, a lot of different people have had, had assists look really good. You just kind of throw it up near the rim and, and he goes and gets it. But really anytime, like I said, if he gets behind somebody, it's usually game over. Uh, John, just what's your mindset on that when you see that kind of pass coming, whatever that pass looks like? Um, I mean, I know we ask you about dunks a lot because you have a lot of dunks, but what's your mindset when you go up for uh, and to go up and get it like that? No, you know, I'm obviously uh, analyzing the ball, right? And how high it is and where it's at. Um, and where I have to jump, I have to jump through or over, you know, around somebody. Um, and, you know, that time I knew Kevin just placed it perfectly to where um, I was in stride to jump and get it. You know, I feel like, you know, Kevin's been playing with me long enough to, you know, have that chemistry where he just understands how, when, when to throw it. And, uh, you know, we make the magic happen. Does it help that you have guys like Kevin, guys like Trey, I mean, Cam tonight as well, um, who kind of, you have, you've played with for years now, so you have that camaraderie more so to know where to expect it. No, damn right. Um, you know, that, that's what we're building for as a young core. Uh, you know, you don't traditionally get to see that happen and to see that chemistry come to come to fruition as, as it does now. So I'm loving every bit of it and I'm um, having my guys are unselfish and, uh, you know, keep feeding me lobs like that. So appreciate you, my guy. <laughs> is, uh, is, uh, is first half, foul trouble is, is this sort of the silver lining of that you bring fresh legs to the fourth quarter yeah uh, if that's how you <laughs> if that's how we want to tighten it up a little bit and clean it up we could we could say that uh we definitely gotta just calm down a little bit um and you know sometimes let let a couple fouls go frustrating my team and myself uh just doing silly things just gotta cut it out do you feel it though do you feel like energized like i haven't played that much i can still go and Oh, I mean, when it when it comes to to getting those lobs and, and dunking, I, I feel like I'm always energized. You know, the toughest part about being on the bench is mentally you get, you know, you lose the flow and you just lose the rhythm for the game. So that, that is what I try to get back into. Switching to Zoom for a question from DNA Sports Talk. John, you have everyone showing up for your dunks and looking forward to seeing you put somebody on a T-shirt. But what aspect of your game do you want the fans and all of us to appreciate? Man, that's tough. Uh, obviously, I love for y'all to appreciate the dunks, as you said. Uh, but I feel like, you know, if anything, I want you guys to appreciate it, just what I bring to the team as a whole, you know, as a leader um, and just as a complete basketball player that plays the right way uh, and it does whatever he can to, to help his teammates win. And as I said before, lead uh, defensively as well. I feel like I've taken the next step. So, uh, you know, as, as like you said, as a fan, to keep watching and, and seeing, him, but I'm going to keep uh, getting better. One more Zoom question from Jamila Johnson. Hey guys, congrats on the win. Um, of course, defense is very important in all games, but especially in a game like tonight where you guys shots aren't falling as much, how important was the defense tonight and how you guys stepped up with that? No, it was extremely important. Um, losing one of our defensive anchor, anchors and Dre tonight. So we, I feel like we all understood that we needed to just you know come together, um, stay locked in and uh, talk to each other, communicate. Uh, we still have to do. Another Zoom question from Cassidy Hubbard. 
Hey guys, just a, a kind of macro question here. I mean, you talked about just the, the chemistry between you two, obviously, with, with the passes. Um, but as far as like the core group, a lot of you guys got new contracts. What kind of confidence and chemistry has carried over into this season from your playoff run in after, you know, pretty good off season for namely you two as well? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, we're definitely, we're early in the process. It's only, it's the third game of the year, um, but it's definitely something I think to start the year, all of us could kind of feel just the, uh, the connection. And, you know, obviously I think it takes a little bit for, for teams to get the flow of the year and, and everybody get used to playing with each other, but in some ways we feel like we're one step ahead and we just, obviously we got to tighten some things up, um, getting a lot of guys back from injury, getting everybody on the court, getting a rotation set. And, um, you know, we were, you know, we're a really deep team, and that's something that we pride ourselves on being. And uh, that chemistry, obviously, we, a lot of guys played big minutes last year together, but you know, it's still really early in the season. We still got a lot of growing to do. John, I saw you at the uh, Braves the other night. Um, what's uh, what's it, what was it like for you last year going through having the city get behind you like the city's getting behind the Braves right now? And where do you sort of see the Braves? Uh, how do you size up what the series is going to do? You know, um, you know, I got to go Braves all the way and, and whenever we, whichever way the series goes. Um, but in terms of the fandom for the city, you know, Atlanta's a, an amazing city to be in when it's playoff time. Uh, you know, you can just see the rush and the fans and, and the excitement from all the, you know, the true um, Atlanta fans, you know, ready to support their team, ready to see us win. Um, you know, I always envision us going down Peachtree um, with the with the Larry O'Brien. So I'm hoping, that, you know, the Braves can do the same as well. Um, Kevin, I know you're a baseball guy. Uh, sorry to ask a non basketball question, um, but what do you what do you see for this series? What are your thoughts going into it? I mean, it'll be. I think it'll be a good series. Um, you know, they got to start off well, obviously in Houston. With you know, I think they got Morgan Freed pitching the first two, and that's you know they get back to Atlanta. Hopefully, we can finish things up. I know selfishly, a lot of us hope they get to Game Five and can close it out, so we can be there on Sunday. <laughs> but uh, should be a great series. Both teams really good. I think deserve to be there on both sides. So like, like John said, I think the city's hungry for a champion and hopefully the Braves can bring it home. Go Braves, baby. Thank you guys. Oh, thank you guys. Thank y'all.